And, you know, my style was, was fairly loose and quick. And you weren't really there to create a portrait. You were there just simply to try to create an emotion and perhaps tell a story. I'd forgotten I even knew how to do this. But this is basically, you know, the size you might work. On, on a shot of the judge because then the camera could zoom in and move around on it. What would happen is we would go to the court uh, separate from the reporter and uh, generally I didn't even sit with them. I would go into the courtroom and you're there to visually cover a story just like you're covering it with this camera. So you would do your establishing sketches. You would make quick sketches of the room, and then you would try and zero in on some of the people. You had to, of course, get the judge, the defendants, the prosecutors, and the defense lawyers. And if it were a jury trial, try and get some drawings of the jury, wide and tight. Often, I would draw in pencil and then come back and render. But again, it's, it's representative art. It's not illustration it's to just kind of set the scene these things are work though you're in there you're working you got you got to you got to produce something and uh, have it uh, have it ready for air I was asked by the local station the local news uh, department at NBC to go down to DC Superior Court on one rainy Monday morning in June and it appears that there were some ragtag looking burglars supposedly that were caught in the headquarters for the Democratic Party at the Watergate. Well, we took it rather lightly, just assuming that it would be a nothing story, a local story that would just be uh, told simply that here are these characters that where they shouldn't have been. Well, of course, we all know what happened and as a result of it, bringing down the presidency. I personally thought that we needed to not pile on to Nixon. He had enough problems. And see, uh, the, the pictures we would choose to use of Richard Nixon, even within a news story or on the set of a, uh, of a newscast, I think had to reflect impartiality because it was not our job to have pictures. And there were some very unflattering pictures of Nixon. But generally, we tried to use ones that were just sort of neutral and didn't show him in a great light. Conversely, didn't make him look bad. Yeah, you know, it's not a face that you're really that familiar with, but he had that uh, kind of nose that was, uh, and, and then he had these really, really bushy eyebrows. Yeah, but this, this does kind of end up being sort of caricature of him. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look that much like Nixon. I'm rusty, and Nixon's image is not that clear in my mind. But you could get by with this in a courtroom. Of course, Nixon was never in a courtroom. I think the thing that sticks out in my mind is uh, their attitudes. They felt they were untouchable. They were so uh, supercilious about it all, condescending. Just look, I think they looked down on the American people, and uh, it, and it came back to to haunt them. Like I said, some of them, you see, we, we hit it, and sometimes we don't. Sometimes I would, and other times, you know, I would have another artist maybe looking over my shoulder saying, quit, stop, it's time to let it go, because, you know, you've got him now, let it go.